almost hectic day. It's, it's, it's a day where I, uh, I try to take care of things in the ministry and just knock out a bunch of items with the staff. And it's just a real busy day. Just, I have to structure it so that I get down to the second and kind of make this call in between these two stops. It's just busy. And yesterday was one of those days. And I got home and ate supper with my wife and kids. And I said, I got to go lay down. I just went and laid down. And I just felt numb. I was like, I don't think I could do anything. I was just laying in my room with the lights off, just numb, like for an hour, just sitting there. And I really felt like the Lord spoke to me. Here I am trying to schedule a week or a day and thinking of all the things I need to get in. And then the day ends, and I think about all the things I didn't get to. And that was yesterday. I said, like, man, I didn't get to this guy. I didn't get to that. I didn't get to this. But God, I got to deal that, with that tomorrow. I think, man, Wednesday's chapel. And then another chapel. And then I need to get ready for tonight. You get overwhelmed. You got to get overwhelmed with busyness. Oh, yeah. So the Lord gave me this. And, and I just felt led to give it to you. Because if we're not careful in a moment like this, we're still, we're still busy. Yeah. We're like, okay, we've heard this song. On to the next one. And we're just busy. We want the next thing ready now. Think about it like this. Jesus had three years to establish his church through 12 men. And one was a traitor. He had to do such a thorough job of establishing God's kingdom on earth in three years that it would last for over 2,000 years before he would return to it. So it's been over 2,000 years since Jesus walked on this earth and established salvation in the kingdom and his church. And he did it with 11 men, 12. And he had three years. Three years to establish something that would last over 2,000. And you would think that Jesus would say to the Father, I don't have time for prayer. I don't have time to get away on this mountain. I don't have time to rest. I don't have time to get along and be by myself. I only have three years to change the world. For over 2,000 years. So I don't have a minute to spare. I've got to be as busy as any person that walked this planet. But yet when you read the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, again and again and again, Jesus is withdrawing himself. He's getting alone in prayer. He's getting by himself. You think, Jesus, you don't have time to waste like this. If Jesus only had three years and a handful of men, to change the world for, for a span of over 2,000 years, knowing he wouldn't be here after that third year that he started his ministry. But yet he saw the importance of getting along with God and getting along with the Father, knowing that that was essential if he was going to make the most of the three years. When I say three years, he started his ministry at the age of 30, and he was crucified at the age of 33. So a three-year ministry that changed the world, that was filled with time alone, time in prayer, time in worship, time by himself. We must learn from Jesus. Psalms 46.10 says this, Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. So maybe that's a word you need right now in this moment. Just be still and know that he is God. Let go of the anxiety. Let go of the busyness. Let go of the to-do list. Let go of all the stuff you didn't get done today that's clouding your mind and you can't really worship because you know you didn't get all that done today. It's waiting on you when you get home and the laundry's there and the dishes in the sink. You gotta let all that go. It'll be there tomorrow. Let it go. Be still and know that He is God. And let those things just pass and say, you know what? What's most important right now is that I just be still and pray and focus on the Lord. If Jesus knew the importance of this, we must grasp the importance of this, especially in our worship. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Hallelujah. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. 
Worthy is your name. 